Quilters. I am outside by my burning bush and we have construction work happening in that direction so you're gonna have some noise. But I just wanted to come out and do an intro to the Christmas sew along that I'm in and I wanted to do it in front of my burning bush. It is November 26, 2023 and I just wanted to come out and show you a piece of fall. So we're gonna go inside. I'm going to open up the packages for the sew along. All the members sent in a fat quarter of fabric. So we're gonna go open that and then we're gonna pick out a pattern. So let's go inside. to go pick out a pattern I'm also going to go ahead and press my fabrics and then I'll come back one to tell you what pattern I've decided I'm gonna use and we're gonna start cutting right so <laughs> I'm back and I have pressed my fabrics and when I press my fabrics I noticed that six of my prints were directional and six of my prints are not directional so I pulled this quilt pattern to do it's called D2M and it is a Villa Rose design. I will leave a link in the description box where you can purchase this particular card. I can't turn it over because the instructions are written on the back of the card. And when I looked at this, I needed 13 fat quarters and I only have 12 fat quarters with 12 participants. However, I had one fat quarter that was longer than the others. So for the last fat quarter that's a little bit bigger, instead of me making two blocks, I'm going to make three. And then that will give me the 25 blocks that I need to complete this quilt. So that's what we're going to do. In addition to that, I needed a background print, and I'm using this white, kind of got leafy fern leaves on here. So I'm going to use that as my background. And then for my accent, I am going to be using this red. So I am only going to cut some of this on camera for you guys, and then I am going to cut the rest off camera, and then I'll come back and start sewing.
cut my fat quarters and I wanted to show you where on my directional prints that I had to piece my units together and you can barely see the seam on here I'm gonna pull it up for you but you can see the seam going through this area and my Santa with the snowman my print I just let the print run into each other all I wanted to make sure was that everything was upright and then these are my little soldiers and they kind of look cute nestled down going around on this one I was able to cut this way so I needed to add a piece to the bottom so that's what I did on those this one here I was not a directional print I was just short of fabric my last fat quarter my last half yard of fabric was short so I gave myself one of the shorts and um, I had to piece to get the one last piece out and for this one it was directional this is the one where I needed three blocks out of the one fabric so I had to piece one two three four as long as it's all in the right orientation I'm okay with that another thing that I did um, I can't show you all of this but let me just show you part of it mm -hmm. I went and put all of my fabrics in number order all the way through 12 all you see is 9 right here and then what I did for each position on the actual finished quilt top I blew this up so you could see it a little better I numbered each of these positions with the fabric so when I'm dealing with the directional prints I'll know if it's going to be turned upside down and then I can piece my block in the correct orientation of how it's going to lay in the quilt so I am this uh, quilt pattern with the cut instructions written into the pattern is absolutely perfect it's just that I had to modify because I'm dealing with directional prints so this is not automatically set up for directional prints so next up is I need to cut my background pieces that I'm going to need so for this part I'm only gonna cut like one strip set of what I need and then I am going to just sew a few blocks so that I can show you a few blocks sewn up and then that way I can go ahead and finish making the blocks I am back with the sewing and I have sewn some test blocks just so I know how I want to press my seams on this block it really doesn't matter so I have just been pressing to whatever piece I'm adding on and I do want to show you some blocks that I made I do have a pin in them notating the top of the block especially when I don't have a pin in it for right now as I'm piecing because I'm trying to piece a couple of the blocks just to see what I need to do so this first block I just showed you was non-directional this is also a non-directional print and then I have this block that if I showed it to you the correct way when I piece this block because of how it's going to sit in what position in the quilt I needed to piece this directional block so that it was upside down 
So when I turn it the other way in the quilt, it's going to be right side up. So I had to look at the quilt layout, know which fabric was going into which position. That's why I numbered my fabrics. I also want to take this time to let you know that this is the 12 days of Christmas challenge and there are going to be some prizes. I'm going to put a link down below. There is keywords that you need to look for in all 12 of the participants videos. So hopefully I'm day number 12. You've been following along all month and you are notating all of the keywords. There's going to be a form for you to fill out. This quilt is actually going to be part of the giveaway. So when I complete this quilt, it's going to be given away to one of you lucky winners who win the drawing. And I am going to just do a little bit of sewing here with you. And, and now I am going to sew strips to each side of this block. I just don't like using my heated iron to heat to press with first so I like to use a wood press and wood press is my keyword or keywords in my case and it gives me a nice flat surface so that when I get to my heated iron and I go to press that I'm not going to press in a pleat I always use this if uh, sometimes when I'm working with small pieces or blocks like half square triangles or something like that I'm sewing smaller units it prevents me from having to go to a heated iron every time I can do about three or four seams and then I can press with my heated iron to make everything lay flat if you're interested or want to know more about these uh, wood press it also comes with a stiletto seam ripper in a set I will leave a link for you in the description box below back because I decided to go ahead and sew this row together. Here is a quick scan of my row. I can't actually see what's being shown in the camera because I've got it over my head. But this is what I have for my row. Alright, so I'll come back when I am have it all completed. I'm back and I have my quilt top on my long arm and I wanted to show you that I picked this panto that's a uh, meandering Christmas lights and I have started quilting on my quilt top here and you can see the bulb here I decided to just use ivory thread since I use kind of an ivory with gold spec background so that's what we are going to be stitching up.
So I'll come back once I have my binding ready. Guys, I totally forgot to come back when I was finished or putting my binding on. I'm actually about to stitch this last part on, leaving a space here so I can connect the ends at my regular sewing machine. And um, I will get this bound and then I will hang it outside. Today is a rainy day, so I'm hoping tomorrow is better. But I will see you then. I am back. It's quite a few days later. When I finished this quilt at the end of October, I had a few days of rain and then we also had to go out of town to the Houston International Quilt Festival. And so I am just now getting back to it. But this is the actual layout of my quilt top. I actually love it, of course. I want to keep it, but I can't. <laughs> so it will be a donation quilt to the winners. You have links down in the description box below of where you need to go to enter the drawing. And I did long arm machine quilt this with a trailing, meandering Christmas lights is what I think it's called. If it's different, I'll put it on the screen. But it turned out really nice. I ended up using this fabric for my backing and then I used whatever was left over from the backing fabric and the red fabric for my binding so it changes up trying to get a chain spot throughout the quilt so this is my quilt I hope you all have a very joyous and happy holiday season and I hope you go and enter the drawing and I hope you have already visited the other 12 shops and got their keyword I've already given you the keyword for my presentation or keywords shall I say giving you another hint <laughs> and um, I will see you all in my next video thanks for watching Thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed